And we're continuing our coverage with personal finances. Americans in their 60s are in a tough spot, according to the Wall Street Journal. That's for two reasons, the 2008 recession and the fact that guaranteed pensions are becoming a thing of the past. To unpack this, we welcome Regina McCann-Hess. She's a certified financial planner, a social security expert, and the author of Superwoman Wealth, How to Become Your Own Financial Hero. Regina, hi, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So why are Americans in their 60s hit so hard right now? Is it because the Great Recession shaved off their savings and upended their careers? I mean, that's definitely part of it. I think another part is education or lack thereof. Uh, like you mentioned in the article mentioned, a lot of these people were coming out of the times when pensions were a big thing and it was the change over to 401ks. But I don't think we did enough to educate people about the importance of saving into their 401k plans. On top of that, women tend to step out of the workforce on average of 12 years to take care of their family, whether or not it's their kids or aging adult family members who need health care help. Um, and that impacts them because that's 12 years of not contributing to any kind of retirement plan. It also is 12 years of not getting pay raises and promotions and things along that lines. And then when they come back to work, they're starting all over again at the lower level of where they left. Yeah, so that's definitely really scary, like we just talked about, because people cannot afford to stop working at that age. But at the same time, they can't really, sometimes health wouldn't allow them to keep working as well. So let's talk about tax strategies. Are there any tips that you can share to help these young boomers to get ahead? Yeah, I'm a huge advocate for Roth retirement plans. At most companies, they offer a traditional 401k or 403b, depending on if it's for profit or not profit. Um, but they also offer Roth plans as well. So most people uh, don't know about it, but other people do. So again, it goes back to education. It's a decision of pay the tax now versus pay the tax later. And if you pay the tax now, that's your Roth money that can grow tax deferred. And then when you take it out of retirement, it's tax-free income, which has a huge impact on what you're actually able to spend. Yeah, these are really important tips right now, especially because typically it's in the middle of your career. That's when earnings start to peak. And it was right at that point in their lives where these young boomers were in 2008. Let's move on. Is there any way to cut down on health care costs to make retirement money go further? Yeah, there are these accounts called HSAs, which are health savings accounts. Now, you have to be part of a high deductible high deductible plan, um, and many companies offer that, but you're able to save tax-free money, $4,150, I think, for an individual, and I think like $8,300 for a family. That grows tax deferred, and you can take it with you. It's not lose it or use it. You can save it year after year after year, and even defer using it until you get into retirement, which is, again, where you're gonna have a huge impact on that money. Mm. So since we're talking about that, what about mortgage payments, home repairs, that can definitely make a huge difference. How do they complicate finances in that time and any tips that you can share on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think a lot of pre-retirees, if they're doing their planning, are looking at what their average spend is on upkeep of their homes, but also that some of them will take it a step further and look at critically at their house and say, oh goodness, what, what do I really need to fix here? If I, I had somebody come in and buy it, what would they say has to be fixed? And then they also look at it from a different angle and say, what do I want to do as far as upgrades to make this a little bit more pleasant? And then before they retire, they do as many of those upgrades as they can while they still have a paycheck. So they don't take that um, type of thing into retirement. Well, in addition, here's some alternative retirement income. You could take out a reverse mortgage. And for people who don't know, that's when you take out a loan against your home's equity, but you have to own your home and be at least 62 in order to do that. And you don't have to pay it back as long as you don't sell your home and you live there too. Now, many people stop working when they retire, but they still earn taxed income. How can they save on taxes? Well, there are certain states that don't tax people's income. Uh, off the top of my head, I know uh, Alaska and Florida, there's like several others, they don't tax your income at all. So those are states that you can think of, all right, well, maybe I think about moving there. 
Um, and then there are several states that don't tax your Social Security income. And then there's also other states that don't tax your retirement income at all. I know Pennsylvania does not tax retirement income, so that's really helpful. Now, there's also states that do tax and they're very high tax brackets. I know California state income tax at the highest level is 13.3. Uh, New York's pretty, pretty up there too, I think at 10.75. Hawaii is uh, over 11%. So those are states that maybe you want to avoid uh, when you're retired. Right. And I think we still have a minute or so. So what about if for those people that do not live, are not lucky to live in those states, how can they maximize non-taxable income? Yeah, a great suggestion there would be to consider Roth conversions. And a good time to do Roth conversions is between the time you retire and before the age of required minimum distributions, which this year would be 73 years old for the first age for that. During those years, you may be in a lower tax bracket, which would allow you to do partial Roth conversions at a lower bracket. And then that money, you pay the tax now, you let it grow tax deferred, take it out later uh, tax free, and therefore you're not bumping up your tax bracket. Also, you're taking money out of your traditional accounts, so that's less of a required minimum distribution that you'll have to take, so that's less taxable income, and taxable income also will determine your Medicare um, insurance coverage costs. So at, that all those things will help decrease your taxable income and also possibly decrease your um, health insurance premiums. So important to hear from you today, especially because the Wall Street Journal is saying that there are more non-white boomers who are lacking retirement savings accounts altogether. And some of them tell the Wall Street Journal they have to stay in the workforce late into old age mm -hmm. just to make ends meet. But now with your tips, people can try to avoid those problems. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Regina McCann has certified financial planner and author of Superwoman Wealth. Thank you. Appreciate it.